Let's try, let's try a few examples. In this example, we wish to convert uh, degrees to radians. So 45 degrees equals how many radians? The conversion factor is pi over 180. So you take the 45 degrees multiplied by pi over 180, gives you 45 divided by 180 times pi, or using your calculator to convert that to a decimal number, 0.25 pi. Let's try another one. Convert to degrees. Given 3 fourths pi, how many degrees is that? The conversion is 180 over pi, so you take 3 fourths pi, which is the number given, times 180 over pi. The pi's cancel. You're left with 3 times 180 divided by 4, or 135 degrees. This one's a little trickier. Uh, given 1.2 pi radians, how many degrees is that? Uh, it starts off with the same process, 1.2 uh, pi radians times 180 over pi equals 1.2 times 180. Again, the pi's cancel. You're left with 216 degrees. Looking at uh, finding the voltage at 35 degrees, given the peak value of 10, use the general sine wave equation, Vp times sine theta. So 10 times the sine of 35 degrees. Go 35, press the sine key, multiply it by 10. Uh, gives you 5.73 degrees. And again, in terms of the sine wave, uh, actual wave, 35 degrees might be around here. This is 10 volts. So this would be about 5.73 volts. That's what we're looking at. Find the voltage of sine wave B at 45 degrees if it lacks sine wave A uh, by 30 degrees. So here what we have, sine wave A is our reference wave, always starts at zero. B and let's see, it lags sine wave A by 30. So if it's lagging, that means its peak occurs after. So this is 30 degrees and B, it's not very even, but this is 5 volts right here. So I'm looking for 45, which would be about here. Looking for that value. So the theta is always the angle you're looking for, so 45 degrees. Uh, the phi is the phase shift angle. So I put the 30 in there, so I end up with 45 minus 30, gives me 15 degrees. Now it's just a matter of putting in 15 degrees, press the sign key, you get 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times 5 is 1.29. So that value right there is approximately a 1.29 volts.